Arike Ogumbawale has accomplished legendary feats throughout her basketball journey, but it is her impact off of the court that makes her a superstar. Her idol provided Arike with the mentality to succeed. When she was a third grader growing up in Wisconsin, she and her best friend signed up to join their first AAU basketball team. As the two newest additions to the team, they had few options when it came to picking which number they would wear on their jersey. She initially wanted number eight because of Kobe Bryant being her favorite player was rocking that number in LA, but it wasn't available. So she ended up choosing number 24, which coincidentally became Kobe's new number shortly thereafter. It was as if the entire thing was faded. For years, that would be her only connection to Kobe as she grew her game and became one of the best players in the nation. However, in 2018, their paths would finally cross. Arike became immortalized in college basketball history for hitting two game-winning shots during the Final Four. But perhaps what was even more exciting for her was getting a shout-out from her idol Kobe, a game that put her on the radar of her idol. Big-time shot, Arike. We are UConn WBB family, but we love seeing great players making great plays. I know my little sis, Jewel Lloyd, is happy. Well done. Good luck on Sunday. Day. Hashtag Mamba Mentality. Well, game recognizes game. The first time the two of them met was at the Ellen Show. He surprised her with a few of his jerseys and praised her for winning a national title on a game-winning shot. Afterward, the two grew close and formed a mentor and mentee relationship. Arike was amazed by the breadth of Kobe's basketball IQ as he meticulously broke down the game of Kyrie Irving and showed her the beautiful science of basketball. The taping was followed by a two-hour chat between the two. He shared his feelings on controversies that were in the public, his mind. He shared different things he did when he was younger to get prepared for life, like saving money. We covered a lot of different topics. He was spilling like we were friends. That's how cool he is. Kobe made sure to keep up with Arike as she continued her basketball journey. He would text her often when she accomplished something great. And to this day, Arike cherishes those private messages from the man responsible for her playing how she does, especially the last message she remembers receiving from him. But before Kobe, there was someone else in her life that motivated her to ball out. Struggle turned her into a monster. Her dad came to America from Nigeria for a better education and survived on very little money as a taxi driver. She watched as her dad went from a school teacher to one of the highest paid principals in Milwaukee to now working at the Milwaukee district office overseeing principal support at all Milwaukee schools. Arike saw the value of sacrifice by watching the lengths her dad would go to make a better life for his family. To reach these heights, she dedicated nearly every second of her life to sports by making sacrifices as a child that most people wouldn't do as adults. I was always in the gym and I always had a tournament, especially since I was playing soccer and basketball. I pretty much had a tournament every single weekend, so there wasn't really a lot of sleepovers. I rarely partied in high school because I was in the gym a lot. I honestly wasn't pressed to party anyway, so it was okay. Now, motivated by her parents taking the hard way to achieve their dreams, she did the same, opting to train with boys rather than girls since she was little. Arike conditioned herself to hold her own against her brother, who ended up playing in the NFL later on. Although she sacrificed height and strength for them, it helped her sharpen her skills. She didn't play with girls on an AAU team until the fifth grade. And even during the early months of the pandemic, she worked out with high school and college guys. Arike came out of the eighth grade at Our Redeemer Lutheran School in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. In her last year at Our Redeemer, Arike helped the Our Redeemer girls team win the national championship at the 2011 Tournament of Champions, sponsored by Lutheran Basketball Association of America. She was named the MVP of the tournament. Arike finished her high school career being ranked ninth in the world, named 2015 Wisconsin Miss Basketball, and was a McDonald's High School All-American selection. However, what she did next left everyone in awe. Arike was about to put herself on the map. She began her college career as a student athlete for the University of Notre Dame Fighting Irish women's basketball team in 2015. Her junior season at Notre Dame is where she solidified her status. She was a 2018 NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship team member, helping lead the Fighting Irish to victory in both Final Four and Championship games. They made her the 2018 NCAA Tournament Most Outstanding Player. 2018, Arike was also the ACC Female Athlete of the Year, 
co-recipient with Lamar Jackson for Louisville football. Arike was again instrumental in leading her Notre Dame team to the national championship game, but they fell just short despite her 31 points. She became Notre Dame's all-time leading scorer with 2,626 points. She established a program mark for career field goals, making 439, while starting more consecutive games than any player in school history by opening her first 102 contests. Now, although she was unreal in college, when she took her talents to the WNBA, she even put her college accomplishments to shame. Arike quickly became one of the best players in the league. Arike was a top high school recruit and enjoyed an illustrious college career at Notre Dame, making her the fifth overall pick in 2019 by the Dallas Wings. She took the WNBA by storm, finishing her rookie season, ranked third in scoring, and setting a record for any first-year player with four games of 35 points or more. She was selected as the WNBA 2021 All-Star Game Most Valuable Player with 26 points on the team WNBA win versus the Women's Olympic squad Team USA. And during the 2019 season, she was third in the league in scoring and scored 20 or more points in 13 of her final 14 games, including the final 11 of the season. After the season, she was named to the all-rookie team. She had her real breakout in 2023. Leading up to the May award in the first week of the season, from May 20th to May 28th, Arike averaged a league-high 26.7 points, giving Dallas its first 2-0 season start since 2007. In a game where she scored 21 points against Minnesota, she became the 11th player in league history to score over 20 points in the first four games of the season. On July 20th, 2024, Arike was named the WNBA All-Star Game MVP after scoring 34 points, a WNBA All-Star Game record with six assists. This is the second All-Star MVP title for her, and in both cases, the WNBA All-Stars were playing against Team USA Olympic teams. Now, she has quickly established herself as a businesswoman, too. Her earnings continue to skyrocket. She entered the league on a four-year, $220,000 deal, after which Arike signed a three-year, $725,000 extension. Her annual salary is worth $241,000, so it is more than her first deal. And on top of that, she has a massive social media following, which includes 275,000 followers on Instagram. Her game and popularity have helped her secure endorsement deals with the likes of Chewy, Wella, The Good Feet Store, and Chime. Now while off of the court, she keeps things even more interesting. Her shoe collection will leave you feeling a little envious. Arike is a sneakerhead through and through. She has a personal affinity for Nike SB Dunks and the classic Air Jordan 1 sneakers. I'll buy every color of ones and dunks for real. I like low tops for sure. I don't know my favorite. I love them all, honestly. Now, her sneaker love runs deeper than outfits, as one of her superstitions during college revolved around wearing the same sneaker for an entire season. She had to break in a pair of shoes for a week, so randomly picking up a pair of shoes and balling out was out of the question. She also has interests beyond basketball. She appeared on the hit television show Dancing with the Stars. However, the process of her getting on Dancing with the Stars was rather complicated because she was still in college at the time. A waiver was needed because the NCAA restricts students student athletes from allowing their names, images, and likenesses to be used for commercial purposes, which would seem to include appearances on TV shows. This policy is part of the NCAA's amateurism rules that purportedly exist to protect athletes from exploitation and preserve consumer interest in the NCAA's products. So perhaps the waiver in Enrique's case represented a significant step in the right direction for the NCAA and its regulation of student athlete NILs, because it was shortly after after when NCAA started allowing student athletes to earn money through their image and likeness. So perhaps Arike was a game changer long before her incredible WNBA run.